YouTube, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a Edgar, as a lot of people like to call it. Uh, basically, it's going to be a mid-high taper, a little burst type taper. And yeah, let's get into it. Other than that, let's get right into it. And first thing I'm going to do is I start off by, this is number seven. I'm going with the grain. He did have a perm before this. So like his hair was a little bit more rougher than like how it really is. But this is how my client wanted it. And I mean, you got to you gotta go with your clients, um, request what they want. So after we do that, I do wet hit my client's hair, um, get it pretty damp and add a little bit of hair serum. That way we can blow dry it the way it's supposed to be laid down. And um, this is, I do use about medium high heat. What the hair serum does, it protects it from the from the heat or from damaging even uh, even more. But that's what that's what I like to do every time I, I try to like cut off a lot of hair from like um, curls and stuff. And then what I'm doing here, we're gonna start off by going with our number two guard lever open. I close about a quarter. You can leave it open. It really doesn't matter. I'm just used to doing it about a quarter, which is one little notch on the baby list. And um, we're just giving it a little bit of shape right here, not really digging in, just going straight up. With this type of hair texture, it is a little difficult to get it like real, real, um, like consistent with the bulk. Um, what I like to do is I basically just clean this up and try to get it with my thinning shears as best as possible. His hair like wants to like still like poof out, it's real bad. and. I mean, you can only do so much. Not every haircut's gonna be 100% perfect, but you gotta give it your hundred or your all every time you you have a client in your chair. So the first thing we're gonna do now, after we're gonna start our, our fading process now, the first thing I do is I, I start uh, by making my guideline, my first ball guideline. We are doing the skin, so um, we're gonna be using the babyless shavers right here. And I forgot to tell you guys, my my trimmers, everything I use is zero gap. Um, that's just the way I like it and it really helps out uh, taking out lines and detailing. So after we hit it with our shares, we're going to go in with our one guard right here, lever fully close about an inch, and we're just going to follow the same consistency, um, throughout, uh, the taper and give it about that oval, that oval look. And we're going to take it a little bit, uh, behind his ear. I, I like to go behind his ear just so usually a lot of people, they leave it dark, like real dark right there. So like, it just looks like the front's tapered out. But you can take it a little behind the ear and uh, just make it as consistent as possible as well. Do not be afraid to pull down his ear. You're not going to hurt your clients. Just, um, of course, just don't nick his ear because I have done that before and they start bleeding and it's real bad. And of course, your clients do not like that. Then what we're going to do is go with our half guard, lever fully closed, and we're going to copy the same exact thing. Make sure you keep the blade flat. A lot of people ask me why don't why don't I just go in with the half guard like to start off with. But to be honest, it's because it comes down to like when I detail, it, it helps me out um, by just taking out the lines or the little dark spots way easier by doing this type this technique. Once you finish that up, we're gonna come in with our um, these are my Oster fast feeds with the ceramic blade. It doesn't matter really like what clip you use. It really just comes down to preference, but we're taking out that bottom line, uh, the first bald guideline we made. And a lot of people ask me as well, how, how much do I open it? Literally, I don't, I open it only a quarter and everything just comes right out. If I have to, you know, like halfway max. But other than that, I don't have to open it any more than that. And everything comes right off. And I am using my babyless um, trimmers right here. They are zero gap, just to take out the remaining uh, little stubble hairs that my clipper didn't get. All right, next step is we're gonna go with our one and a half guard, lever fully closed, and we create about another inch guideline. Copy the same thing basically on top of what we just faded out. Um, make it as consistent as possible and make sure you, you keep your guidelines pretty neat. And like I t told you guys earlier that I like to fade a little bit behind the ear. It's still gonna be dark, but it's gonna be faded still at the same time, if that makes sense. But that way it just looks consistent throughout the side, the whole side of his head. So now we're gonna go with our number one guard, lever fully open, and we're gonna copy the same thing we just did with the, our one and a half. We're gonna start fading down now. So the lever is open. 
and you're gonna do this uh tech or this this part this step on right on where you did the one and a half and just make sure um it's nice and even keep the blade flat Remember, do not be afraid to push down your or pull down your uh, clients here. You're not going to be hurting them. So right here, after we do the open, we're closing it halfway. And you're just going to go um, about a little bit more underneath that. You're, you're blending down. So you can basically almost take it all the way to the top of the guideline. But just um, keep the blade flat again. And then you fully close it. And then we're going to attack that the rest of the middle ghost line right there. And when doing that part, you just go right on it, literally, and just go straight into it. Once you finish that out, we go in with our half guard, lever fully closed, and we're gonna take out the rest of that ghost line in the middle. On this, on this step, be careful because you can push up the blend. So use more of like your corners on this step, um, give it more of a flick. Um, the detailing should be really easy now. You won't struggle as much because everything's already really lightened up. Once you do that, we go in with our number two guard, lever fully open, I close about a quarter and I go straight up. Not really creating a guideline, just connecting the top to the bottom. Just go straight up and do not dig in. Now we're gonna go right underneath that with the one and a half guard lever open and close her about a quarter and we're just gonna clean up uh, underneath that where the darkness is at. Not really creating a guideline as well, just going straight up, trying to connect the top to the bottom as well. Everything should fall into place already with this and all you have left is to detail. So right here, I go back down. When I detail, I go back down to my one guard and I start, I open it, I close it if I have to or whatever. Now I'll go back to my no guard just to clean everything up, whatever little spots I haven't uh, got out. So that's basically how I do my, my fading techniques with these type of haircuts. Um, I mean, it's all the same. I use every, every, I use the same technique for every ha hairstyle. Um, now I, all, all I got left to do is um, smack on the lineup. This is where it makes it pop, add some enhancements. Uh, what I use for the enhancements right here is Kiss Express and Half Water. Just mix it real well. It should it works perfectly. In my opinion, it lasts more than all those other brands that come mixed already. And um, just added, I add a little bit of the white barber pencil. Just give it a little extra pop. My clients like it as well. And that's basically how I do it. How I do my fading method. I'm gonna fast forward this side. That way I can show you guys the back, how I do it um, more in detail because this side's gonna be obviously the same as the other side. So now for the back, we're gonna set in our first uh, initial bald guideline. For some reason, I kind of curved it down on this haircut. Uh, I usually go like straight across or I curve it up a little bit because I don't really like the sides to be like real dark. In my opinion, I think I do not, I mean, I don't like that. It's just my preference. It's all right. It's nothing bad. You, if you guys do it like that, it's okay as well. That's just, I don't like it personally. But, but after that, we're going to hit it with our shavers, our babyless shavers. And we're just going to take it all the way to the skin or to the line we created. And just uh, do not put a lot of pressure. Just let the clip or the, the, the bald shaver do its work. <laughs> Remember, if you put a lot of pressure on this, this these lines are going to be a little harder to take out later on. So right after we finish that up, we're going to go with our one guard, lever fully closed, and we're going to create about an inch guideline as well. And just um, keep the blade flat, make sure it's nice, even, and consistent. And about an inch, half an inch to, ha to an inch, really depends how, how, uh, how long you want your blend or how tight you want it. This is what's going to determine it. Next step, we're gonna do our half guard, lever fully close, and you're gonna copy the same exact thing we just did with our number one. Do not make it harder on your guys' selves. This is, it's, these steps are easy as following, or as one, two, three, literally just. 
follow exactly what I'm showing you and you should have pretty amazing results. But just keep the, the blade flat on this. Um, remember this is the lever, the lever is fully closed on this step. So now we're gonna take off that bottom line with the Oster Fast Feeds. Like I said before, you can use whatever clipper. These just help me because I can hear every little hair it's, it's taking off. It keeps me from growing or from going too high, um, from pushing up the fade like crazy. And I always just keep it closed and open it about a quarter. That's all you need really to take out this line. You won't have to go any more than, than halfway at, at least. So now we're going with our babyless zero gap trimmers and we're taking out the remaining little stubbles that my clipper didn't get. So now we're going in with our one, one and a half guard lever fully closed and we're gonna create about another inch guideline and as well towards the end we go straight out with it because there is a lot of bulk and we are going more into the, to the darkness and Try to, you don't really want to dig in and create such a harsh guideline, but with all this bulk, with, with these editors, it's a little harder. So just try to try to shape it as well as you're going. So now after we, we set that guideline in, we go back to our one guard lever fully open and we're going to copy the same thing we just did with the one and a half. But instead of fading up, we're going, we're fading down now. So we started with the open first, then we're gonna, we're gonna end up closing it halfway and then fully close as we go more down. And I'll show you guys in, in this part right there, I closed it halfway. So now we're gonna go a little bit more underneath that. And then you'll see when I close it uh, fully and just attack the middle ghost line. So right there you seen that I closed it fully and now we're just right on that ghost line basically just breaking it we're not really it's not gonna take it out completely we're just softening it all the way down for this next step right here which is the half guard lever fully closed and you're gonna use more of your corners on this step um, more of a little flick right here because you can push up the fade a little bit higher with this part if you're not careful but it should come right off that's the whole point of using the one guard at the beginning to soften everything up and make it as smooth as possible. So all you got left basically now is just, we're gonna connect the top to the bottom now. So right here is your number two guard, not creating a guideline, just going straight up and, and shaping it at the same time. Really all you gotta do is just go straight up with these. The lever is open and I close it about one little notch, which, which is about a quarter in the walls or the, the andes, whatever. But I'm shaping it at the same time, as you guys can tell, I'm, sh I'm like going straight up. I'm taking more bulk down on the sides. These are a little bit more difficult. Um, depending on the hair texture not really the cut it's the hair texture that your client will have um really thick straight hair or coarsey hair with these um with these type of hairstyles it just depends on what with this case it, it's a little bit with his texture my client's texture it's a little bit more difficult but i'll be doing another tutorial on on him later on um he will be getting texture all around his hair and it's gonna look pretty dope. But I wanted to show you guys the, the process of everything of um, how to first do it and start off uh, start off one of these type of hairstyles. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm going with my one and a half guard lever open and close about a quarter and we're just cleaning up everything underneath. So, those are basically my steps on how I do like the, the tapers and all that, um, like my fading method. What I'm doing right here now is I'm detailing, I'm gonna detail the crap out of this haircut because um, 
there was a lot of inconsistency I seen in the back of the taper and I mean like I said before it really depends on the hair texture as well um, not every haircut's gonna come out like the way you want it but like I said earlier you just gotta try and give it your best and as long as you do that you should be fine do not stress it the 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 overall outcome of this will will be uh worth it so now what i'm doing here i'm just trying to get the the bulk to blend a little bit better into the, into the sides connect it better uh we're just going straight up with our thinning shears and our comb make sure you watch the comb and we're just going straight up as you can tell or we're keeping it in the same spot i like to just to debulk it a little bit more and we're just gonna do this all through all around the back of his he his head So all you got left now to do is add the lineup on the back and you'll be good to go. So this is what the this was the before how my client walked in. He had the curls going, um, he had the perm. And this is what I came up with. I think this cut came out pretty dope. Um, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Uh, like subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys get alerted every time I drop a new video which I am dropping every Monday for you guys um, uh, I appreciate everybody that tunes in every Monday or whenever to, to watch my videos and try, actually try to learn something that's the overall goal uh, make sure you follow me on my social medias at Noel Blends on everything on, on TikTok, Instagram other than that I'll see you guys next week peace